Hi guys. All right. So, just popping in. Um, wanted to say that I'm thinking about taking my necromancy altar and making it into a new altar. Um, I'm thinking about making it into an altar to Thoth, um, the Egyptian god Thoth, Toth, however you say it. I'm gonna say Thoth because that's easier for me to comprehend. It's a lot easier for me to say, so, yeah. Toth and Thoth, whatever. Um, Thoth. I'm going to be worshipping him for a little while, because I think that he has some good energy about him. He has some good commanding, some good respectable energy. Um, I really do respect him, and I think that I need to, uh, I think that I need to, uh, have that in my life. So I'm going to worship him for a little while. I need to look up altars, I need to look up how to worship him, I need to look up all this great stuff. So I have a busy schedule today, I have a lot of research ahead of me, so yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to be doing that, um, when I get my Ouija board, I'll be using it, I'll be, when I get my Ouija board, I will take out my, uh, I'll take out my necromancy altar, do it again, um, and take down Thoth's altar, respectively. Um, I will be respectful about it, but I will put up my necromancy altar again, and I will do that. But, uh, unless, unless I really like Thoth, unless his energy is really, really good and I really work well with him, then I will just do it in my sacred space. Then I will just put it on the floor, do it in my sacred space. I have to clean my room up a lot, a lot, if I'm going to do that, but I do think that I want to worship Thoth for a little while, so I'm going to do that. Um, the Egyptian god, Thoth, um, one of his uh, one of the things he's got of is of the moon. Um, he's also got of magic, he's got of scribes, he's got of a whole bunch of different things, basically everything, so, yeah. Um, god of reading, god of writing, you know, all this great stuff. Um, he's a god of a lot of things. Um, I'm going to, uh, going to, uh, worship him for a little while. So, I am going to, um, get a good altar idea of what I'm going to do with his altar, what colors he is, um, and do the corresponding, uh, colors, therefore, and, uh, I'll probably burn my Egyptian musk for him, since he's Egyptian, um, maybe some regular musk for him as well. Um, and I will, uh, use a wand. I think I have a wand left over that I can use, um, for him. And, uh, maybe a dagger. Um, I think I have a dagger that I can use. And, uh, yeah. So, that is that, guys. I just wanted to pop in and say hi, let you guys know what was going on. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna start researching. My love to you. My heart is exploding into your face, figuratively speaking. Don't forget that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I love you guys. I do. Give me likes, comments down below, subscriptions, please. My comments. If you guys want to tell me how you worship Thoth, if you worship Thoth, tell me how you worship Thoth, um, what he does for you, what you get, what the corresponding colors are. All that fun jazz, um, what I can put on his altar, um, that would be really helpful. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give me likes, again, comments down below, and subscriptions. Two more, by the end of the month, we can get up to 30, we can do a celebratory video. So, yeah, love you guys. I do. And I hope to see you all later. Bye, y'all.